Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Today I am coming to you with a layout for the Hip Kick Club design team and I was challenged to do a layout created by the mood board. Now I created this mood board and when I was thinking about it, because we create these mood boards months in advance, I thought I'm going to go for some deeper colours. So um, deeper patterns, rich colour um, and I thought because here in Australia it's winter and I know that's not the case in all parts of the world but I thought for June I thought we'd go some deeper kind of tones and colours and because we don't know what's going to be in the kits then it's a, a little bit tricky to think of the colours so I thought I'd go with um, patterns and uh, florals and just a bit of fun so I shared uh, the mood board at the beginning so stop if you if you need to check it out pause it here and jump back there and have a good look at it but I thought I'm still working in the May kits my June kit is on its way to me now and so I thought I'd try and pick out some deeper colors which I saw that striped pattern paper there and I'd used that on a previous layout with making some gorgeous daisies so I had a little bit left over and I thought I'm just going to try and incorporate those stripes into my layout and then I thought I'm going to use black and white and make sure that I get lots of kind of dark tones with those photos. The other thing with the mood board there was lots of different patterns and so I thought I'd use some text, I'd use some stripes, I'd have this little rainbow going on and um, see if I can put all this together and just sort of had a have a bit of a higgledy piggledy all over the place kind of layout and once again I'm falling back on just some basic paper piecing techniques to build my the background of my page uh, which helps by making this kind of stripy cluster here helps my photos sort of jump off the page and not get blended into those rainbows um, yeah, so a really easy technique. As you can see, I have not measured anything. I've not um, thought it out. I've just cut and and I'm just sticking down now. I placed it out um, the first time and then I realized that my text words, my little, that pattern paper I'm working with right there, wasn't um, quite long enough to stretch outside my photo reach. So I just cut some extra pieces and have positioned them you know just so they make sure they hop out of each side of my photo even though soon you'll see that I I find I don't know what I'm doing and it needs something else but see how it's kind of just peeking out from there not too much and I was also mindful that I always mount my photos so I knew that they would get slightly larger as well and I'd need to sort of encompass encompass that and make sure it's not over o overflowing on my um on my on my paper piecing there in that background so I thought I'm going to continue with um, my my use of patterns here thinking of the mood board and I thought I'll just uh, pick up some scraps and do a colorful border and then finish it off with that little polka dot in the in the background there and I thought I'll sometimes I, well most of the time I just do a plain border but I thought because I'm going to really stretch myself and just do patterns and colors everywhere and we'll see how it goes and I guess you can be the judge of that in the end where I start doing all the embellishing with these beautiful embellishments in the kit I actually pull out the exclusive ephemera kit designed by Kim Watson for this layout and I, I, I think on my past layouts I haven't touched it and I think I just wanted to hoard it a bit <laughs> I don't know about you but if you're a hip kick club subscriber do you just love those exclusive elements by Kim um, I tell you they are some of my favorite scrapbooking supplies of all time and I am I'm, I have to be very cautious around my hoarding issues um, with those so I thought this time I'm going to break out those that beautiful ephemera pack and and really just enjoy it on this layout and how like this this little photo of my little dolly um, she was marching in the Anzac Day March and we snapped this photo and I just thought oh gosh she's just absolutely adorable and then I was sitting on the side of the road um, and I saw these gorgeous kids who are part of the air cadets locally and they were you know they're just demonstrating that real um, 
respect for that what you know the reason why we were there um so yeah so he can see me I just go oh I'm not coping I think I need more I've not used any mixed media which you know usually I fall back on some kind of mixed media for my layout and then I just saw my gorgeous little Dina Wakely paints there I thought I'm just adding it I'm just I'm just going for it I just need something I need something messy something painty something on this layout so although these are not part of the color kit this was just in which I'm sure we all have it just desperation to try and work something out and help this layout pop and come off the page so I've just grabbed those three which were literally right in front of me but I knew the colors would work because I, th I think pinks blues turquoise um, all these color kits all these match the hip kits this is just my kind of scrapbooking so I knew that it all work <laughs> but I just had a bit of a oh my goodness I just need something more to go on this page and I was so glad I just was brave enough to just wax and paint down and it really turns out in the end so here I am just playing around with that ephemera pack having a look at what's in there and pulling out some of the pieces that I think oh that would be fun to incorporate on my layout there so I've gone with the florals mainly a little paper clip there a rainbow that rainbow was so cute I thought I'm putting that on uh, somewhere I'm doing it and and, um, and yeah, so I've just pulled those things out and I'm just going to be doing simple little clusters around and that's it. I've used foam tape to help those photos kind of jump off from that background so they don't blend in. Um, I don't think they'd blend in anyway, honestly, looking at them because they're so punchy and full frame and dark. Um, and here I am just going to turn this little cluster into something a little bit magical and that rainbow I just thought oh that's so absolutely adorable here so these um I love ephemera packs that just have a few flower clusters because when your mojo's a bit low and you're just really struggling to put a layout together florals can really make an easy layout you know you can just add a couple of um borders around your photo do a little bit of mixed media on your background and add a couple of floral clusters and a, and a, and a title and you really have pulled together a layout so when your mojo's feeling low that's my simple recipe for uh, finding your mojo again and that just simple few florals a couple of pattern papers a plain card stock for your mounting and just put it together sometimes also when your mojo's a bit low really getting photos that are meaningful that you do have a story to share is often a good idea because it's um you're inspired by that moment so if your mojo's feeling low try those couple of techniques and and see how you go so here look it's just come together just adding those few florals tuck them in behind my photos there a little rainbow on that paper clip up the top and here I am thinking okay my background is that cute little cluster and I really want to start using up some of these gorgeous gorgeous all heart stickers I know my June kit's about to arrive and you know of late I've sort of thinking Lauren no hoarding just use it just create with it and even though you think oh it might be a bit wasteful or something like that I'm, I've I've realized with the things that are left over in my gorgeous kits um, that because the next kit's coming so soon I'm not getting to use them all up so my layouts from now on I'm I'm going to be brave and I'm going to use those elements that I want to hoard and I'm going to start really filling out my layouts with just the intricate little details like you see me here now doing I've got these gorgeous stickers from that all heart sticker book and you know there doesn't need to be a leaf there really if I didn't put a leaf there it would be just fine it, you know it doesn't need to you know <laughs> it'd be fine but I'm like no I'm really going to just amp these up with lots of little bits and pieces and um and use up these gorgeous goodies so yeah so as you can see I'm just going through all the embellishments of the kit all from the um, 
we've got the main I'm using the main kit here I'm using the embellishment kit here I'm using the project lot well the pocket life kit here you can see me I'm really pulling from these kits to um, create a fabulous full really kind of detailed intricate layout so when you do look at it I'm sitting here looking at it now I'm, I'm lucky it's right live in my hand but you get to really see and you just soak it all in and have a look at all the words and the titles and they're all meaningful, powerful, inspiring and um, for Anzac Day, which is what we're celebrating here, goodness, that message is so important. We need our children to really enjoy this country that we live in and um, just be reflectful of the sacrifice that people made to make sure our we have the luxury of living the way we do in this in this time so so yes so this this is an important day an important um thing to document and my bless my children um enjoy marching every year and being a part of the community to um reflect and celebrate th this special time each year so as you can see these are not part of the kit as well but I just really was going with the color and I just wanted to keep that theme going so I've pulled out this font which I think was not last month the month before kit and I had enough to say Anzac Day there so I thought I'm just going to use that so if you if you want to create a layout very similar to this go back into your kit busting stash where you've put all your past kits and pull out that uh, font and hope and it will look as cute as what mine does right there adding a few more stickers and then I had a look in my kit and I realized oh we've got that little treasure bag of sequins now sequins is a really good thing often at the end of a layout I'll get some of the shimmers mists or something and do some splatters around the edge just to sort of sparkle it out and blend blend the cluster out so it's not hugely intense it sort of blends out through the page so mist and mixed media tends to be able to blend that background into the cluster and into the foreground I hope that makes sense it probably doesn't but in my head it seems to <laughs> and sequence are another way of doing that and so as you can see it's sort of moving my layout out and blending it into the background without without too much effort at all and it's without mixed media so if you're a bit frightened of mixed media I encourage you to use gorgeous gorgeous little bits of sequence on your page there and here it is all finished I hope you like it I hope it's inspired you to pull out that ephemera pack I hope it's inspired you to document those special moments like Anzac Day which what we celebrate here in Australia and yeah and to Get out your scrapping supplies and create something colourful. All right, guys, take care. I'll be back again soon with a new layout. Bye.